In parts one and two of this little video devotional series, we've considered the story of Mary and Elizabeth from Luke chapters one and two. We used the analogy of a premature born baby and its need to remain in the mother's womb for the full term in order to reach complete formation. Then we learned the story of Charles Plum, a fighter jet pilot who was shot down and years later met the man who packed his parachute. What is true physically is so often true spiritually. We were designed to be a part of a church body in order to reach complete formation in Christ. And we all need someone to pack our parachute. Today, I'd like for you to consider the fact that God doesn't expect or want you to be a lone ranger. I think this is why he has seen fit to call us all into a body of believers, a church family. Because the Christian life is more than just a matter of believing. It's a matter of belonging. By belonging to a community of faith, we put ourselves into a position for our parachutes to be packed. The Amazon River is the largest river in the world. The mouth of this great river is more than 90 miles wide and so much fresh water comes out of it that one can detect the Amazon's currents 200 miles out into the Atlantic Ocean. One of the ironic realities of world exploration centuries ago was that sailors would often die due to a lack of fresh water while caught in the vastness of the South Atlantic. Eventually, the Spanish Armadas and the South American sailors learned where the currents of this mighty Amazon were. Consequently, they were able to instruct ships that had run out of water to drop their buckets in the middle of the South Atlantic into the fresh water currents of the Amazon. I believe that the church, this local body of believers that we are a part of, is that current of fresh water in which we can drop our buckets for refreshment in the middle of our journey carrying Christ to a salty and sometimes unreceptive world. Who doesn't need to be reminded of how special they are to God or affirmed of their faith in God? Who doesn't need their parachute packed? Far too many of God's children are living as lone rangers, trying to live this journey of faith alone. George Barna, the influential researcher of religious life in America, reported several years ago that the majority of people who made a first time decision to follow Christ were no longer connected to a church family within just eight weeks of their decision. When we attempt to live the Christian life alone, our formation is threatened and we are at risk of severe spiritual dehydration. One of the many reasons that Jesus came was to destroy the work of the devil. Much of what it means for us to be formed into the image of Christ is being fashioned into a warrior who assaults the forces of darkness in this world. God is forming an army of mature soldiers, not just one soldier here and another over there attempting to fight on their own, but a large portion of this army has abandoned the disciplines of formation. They have abandoned their church family and have in turn stunted the process of formation into the image of Christ. Now, according to numerous broad surveys, three fourths of Americans claim to have made a personal commitment to Christ as their savior. So why don't Christians in America make more of an impact? I used to wonder about that, but not anymore because the stark reality is that too many of us are practicing Lone Ranger Christianity, leaving God little to work with in regard to forming his army of warriors. And what is true biologically is also true spiritually. Formation takes place within a body. We have to be in this together. No doubt we need one another and we are so much better together.